Keeping your Hilti Powder Actuated Tool cleaned and well maintained is key to ensuring the best performance possible when using your tool. Now in this video we will show you how to properly disassemble, clean, and reassemble the Hilti DX460. Before starting any maintenance on the DX460, be sure the tool is unloaded. Remove the cartridge strip in the tool by gripping the tab and pulling it straight through the top of the tool. Now to get started, the first thing you should do is remove the fastener guide. Remove the fastener guide and drive piston. Press and hold the silver button on the side of the fastener guide and unscrew it. Remove the fastener guide from the tool. Pull the piston out of the fastener guide or, if it remained in the tool, remove it from the tool. Remove the piston guide sleeve assembly. Set the tool on its end, find and then press the black button on the trigger guard. Unscrew the piston guide sleeve assembly and remove it from the tool housing or body. Once you've disassembled the tool, you should now take the time to clean the tool. To ensure smooth and efficient operation of the DX460, it should be cleaned regularly. Every day after use is ideal, but at least within 5,000 fastenings. Parts that show powder residue on them should be cleaned. A cleaning kit is provided with the Hilti DX460. Use the double wire brush and clean the back of the piston. Run the brush in and out of the piston guide sleeve to remove any powder residue. At the back of the piston guide sleeve, there are two ports that need to be cleaned. Use the smallest brush from the cleaning kit and clean out the cartridge seat and the port next to the cartridge seat. Once the brushing is completed, spray a little Hilti spray lubricant on the brushed parts. Apply sparingly and wipe with a cloth to leave a fine film on the parts. Only use the Hilti spray lubricant. It's a non-flammable lubricant, which helps to break down the powder residue and is specifically designed for Hilti powder actuated tools. Besides cleaning, you will want to check the common wear items on the tool and replace if necessary. Check the buffer. It's located in the fastener guide. To remove it, grab the buffer and roll it out of the fastener guide. This is a wear item and should be replaced whenever you change the piston. Here is an example of a new buffer and a worn buffer. To replace it, just snap it into place on the fastener guide. There must be a buffer in place when you reassemble the tool. Check the piston tip for signs of wear, a bent piston, and a broken or missing retaining clip. Now here are examples of a new piston versus a worn out piston. Examine the fastener guide looking for heavy wear on the nose piece, broken pieces, or cracks. Now overall, if the part looks doubtful or suspect, replace it. Once you have cleaned the tool and replaced any broken or worn parts, it's now time to reassemble the DX460. Find the arrow located on the outside top of the tool body or housing and the arrow on the bright metal collar of the piston guide sleeve. Align the two arrows and press the guide sleeve into the tool body or housing engaging the threads. Screw the guide assembly into place until it stops and an audible click of release button is heard. Set the piston into the piston guide sleeve, inserting the big end of the piston first, as far as it will go. Holding the tool securely, push the fastener guide firmly over the installed piston and into the guide sleeve assembly to engage the threads. Maintain pressure on the fastener guide and screw it into the tool until the fastener guide starts clicking or ratcheting. To help verify the tool is assembled and operating correctly and without loading a cartridge strip, depress the tool against a firm surface like a workbench or the floor and pull the trigger. The firing pin should release, making an audible click. The tool is now ready for use. If the tool has the collated nail magazine option installed, Place a strip of nails in the magazine to perform the dry fire test. Now be sure there is not cartridge strip loaded in the tool. 
Regular cleaning and tool maintenance mean less downtime and more productivity and consistent quality in your fastenings. For more information regarding proper tool maintenance, refer to your tool's operator manual or contact Hilti Technical Services.